We're going to rock this Greta Van Fleet song right now. Uh, appreciate you guys, if you haven't yet, to subscribe here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. Smash the bell notification. And then, uh, you know, if you look down there, I've got great links uh, for, you know, extra bonus guitar resources. So thank you for that support, and let's, let's rock. All right, we're in the E minor pentatonic. <laughs> So we're going to start on the 5th fret of the D, then 7A, 7E, like that. Then the 5th fret of the A. It's all this box. It's all in that box. And you know, it's got that little bit of bend to it. So then it goes back and forth between the 5 on the A and the 7 on the E. So you put it together. Then you're pulling a bit of a more of a bend on that 5th fret D. And then to that root note, which is the 7th fret A. So you put it all together. So next, however you want to finger it, it's the 7th fret. Seven, seven, eight, nine. So two times on that seven. And then we roll over to that E note again, the seventh fret A string. So it repeats the same line, but then it goes, so that's just 7, 8, 9 on the D, 7, 8, 9 of the G. And then we power in to an E power chord, but E minor. And then we go into the next part, which is what they use for the chorus. And it's another really cool part. All right, so open E with the E minor seven chord. So you can start with that E minor bar chord with your pinky off. And so there's a bunch of little exercises there with the pinky. But first, it's middle finger off, then on. Then the pinky goes up to that 10th fret B string, so. 
Then you have to do a hammer on pull off. So it looks like this. Then you're grabbing that ninth fret G, you know, to make it a regular E minor. And it kind of sounds like it's getting pulled off there too, like. And that has a really cool riff right there. So, uh, we, we have that E minor thing. And then this little, it's just on the high E and the G. Seventh fret high E, seventh fret G. And then you slide it up a whole step. You could do it, you know, with uh, like that, you know, like the classic, you know. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so it starts on the high E. Then it goes back to the E minor again. Another double stop. Um, So it's just alternating between that G and high E. So I'm hitting the G first, sliding from 12 to 14, and then hitting the 14 on the high E. And then I slide it back. And then it slides back up again. Now, now it goes into, into what we can call the verse. So let me show you that. In the verse, that E minor, there's a little more chugging there. I'm not cranked up. You know, so you have E minor to D. I'm playing a bar chord. Then a G bar chord, back to D. So here's the verse again. D, G, D. Back to E minor, D. And when it goes to C, there's a few to So it's like this, uh, I call it C Lydian. And it's really, it's like thinking of a C chord, but you have the uh, second fret high E open, second fret, and third fret, and fifth fret over a C. Now, even a C major chord, totally going to work, but there's some stuff going on there, and I only was doing it by ear, so I'm not going off of anything official, so I don't even know which spot, but you can hit the same notes. So you could do like a C major 7, and then I'm going C, 2nd on the high E, then the 3rd. So 
Same thing, you know, goes through that twice. Then it go, gets back to the chorus, and the chorus is... through the whole cycle again. It eventually gets back to the main riff again, and the only thing, there's nothing new to learn, it's just the way the riff repeats now. Um, so it goes into the riff. And again, right? You see the way I repeated it? So in... In the intro, it's, you know. Right? But now that we've gone through the song, it's. Uh, right into the riff again. And then this time now into a verse. Now another thing I'm hearing because it's uh, it could be the bass. There's multiple guitars. I'm also hearing the note in the riff. This. But then on the second one, I am hearing. Instead of. I am also hearing that E note in there too. Um, and it's real subtle. It could be a ghost note in there, but anyway, I, to keep it simple, I'm thinking of the riff. All right, after it's gone through, it goes back to that C Lydian thing, and you could do like middle finger. So I'm just literally, it's not exactly, I didn't break down exactly what they're doing. I'll admit it. But it's, you know, it's in that vein where you're playing a C, second fret on the high E, third fret, and fifth fret. Right? So that's just that little, oh, hey into which is you could do it on the a string five six seven and then it's the solo and the chords over the solo is also what they sing over as kind of like the final part of the song so let me show you that so for this for the solo the solo i express myself in my solos no you still go grab a bite you still be hearing that one uh, e minor. So, but D, 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 C, back slide up. And then D, A. Then it starts over. Then the singing comes in, and the only real difference is uh, there's just some more of those embellishments. There's a little lick going on there.
And once again, it's really just by ear that I was messing around. I'm my basically I'm pulling off the E minor pentatonic with the open there, and then going 10, 12. Same thing on the B. Then on the G, you know, it's the pentatonic. And so that little thing is out of the last licks at the end. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again. Once, uh, once again, feel free to request songs in the comments below. I appreciate you subscribing here to the channel while you're at it. And I uh, hope to see you soon. So take care.